Welcome to Captain's Call. I'm Captain John Bushy. And I am Senior Chief Dawson. Okay, so we're going to kick off with a couple comments that we had this week. First, uh, I want to uh, go over a little bit about ICE comments. So ICE comments are uh, designed to be feedback for our services. They actually stand for Interactive Customer Evaluation. And um, we just like to, to rebase everybody on what ICE comments are for. Like I said, it's for customer service feedback. If you have something that is uh, egregious in nature, something that has to deal with um, family advocacy, with security, with any type of uh, breaking of uh, uh, regulations or crimes, please contact Fleet and Family Support Center, contact security. Please take the right avenues to make sure that that's reported immediately so that we don't shift, uh, uh, shuffle through our, um, our ICE comments and then find this at the bottom of the box and we should have taken immediate action. So please make sure you use the right avenue to get the information out. But for ICE comments, uh, the more information you can give us, the better so that we can help support uh, getting you an answer. The five W's, who, what, when, where, why, and the H, how, uh, is extremely important to help us try to answer your issue. Um, please make sure that you do a little bit of research ahead of time, too, so that you know which department you wish to file the ICE comment with. ICE comments can actually be positive and negative. A lot of times the ones that we get are negative, but the ones that we get that are positive, we really appreciate, and we, uh, we send those out to our folks as well. Uh, anonymity. So if you decide to go with an anonymous um, type of ICE comment, that is something that is your, your choice. You can do that if you wish. Um, but the problem with that is we can't oftentimes get back to you with a direct response. Uh, a lot of times when people give us an ICE comment, they will provide some information, but we'd like to have some more information so we can actually address your issue and make sure that we satisfy your, concern, your concerns to the T. So if you could, please give us uh, your, uh, your telephone number or give us uh, an email number so we can get back with you. And then, um, uh, like I said, ICE comments can be used two ways. They can be negative and they can be positive. Uh, we really like the positive ones. That's really great. We do pass that back to our employees. Uh, the negative ones, we, we take those all on board. We do read all the ICE comments, whether they are anonymous or they uh, have contacts on them. Um, we do take action on even the anonymous ones to make sure that we are not missing the mark as best we can with the information that's provided. But like I said at the beginning, the more information you can give us, uh, the better we can uh, address your concerns. So if you have any issues or any questions with ICE comments, please let us know. i uh, be more than happy to answer questions for you on that. So uh, the first question we have for today's uh, program is, I heard that the Liberty Blue Jacket program is extended to E5s. And that is true. The program offers a, a ton of great benefits for our junior sailors, including discounts at MWR activities, free trips, and other perks. So for all of our newly eligible sailors, head over to the Liberty Center, sign up for your Liberty Blue Jacket card, and take advantage of all the deals, the discounts that MWR has to offer. Our second question uh, this week is, did the rules recently change on who has access to eat at the galley on base? Um, the rules have not changed, um, but just to clarify, specifically for dependents on, of active duty members, uh, they are allowed to eat at the galley when accompanied by the active duty sponsor. All right. Well, I think that's all we have for our comments this week, so I guess we'll sign off and see you in about two weeks.